Okay, grade six. As you can see, it is 5.40 in the morning. It is minus 11 degrees outside. And I have driven out to the middle of nowhere so that we can start talking some sky science. Now, this unit's called sky science, but really it's more about space and all the things that we get to see in space. And it's one of my favorite units because there's a lot of really cool things about space. You get out there, you start looking at the night sky, and there's stars, there's moons, there's planets, there's satellites, there's comets and meteors, and galaxies, and spaceships, and space stations, and aliens, and all kinds of cool stuff, some really cool cartoons, and TV shows and stuff, like Star Trek, and Star Wars, and Biker Mice from Mars, and all this really cool stuff. So I love this unit. Um, and the reason I'm out here at 5.40 in the morning on Easter Sunday morning, by the way, is because we need to start talking about the things in, in, this, in space and some of their properties, some of their characteristics, and what else is out there. Um, so the first thing we got to do is talk about things that emit light and things that reflect light. So when I say things that emit light, unfortunately, it's kind of a starless night right now. Or at least my camera's not picking it up. Uh, but things that emit light, that's the moon, not a star, give off light. So a really good example, you can see it's sunrise over there right now. The sun emits light. What that means is it creates its own light because basically it's a big burning ball of fire. All stars are big balls of burning fire. Um, there's a little one in the corner there. So you know that little kid song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. That's for you, Annika. I know how much you love me singing in class. Um, stars are big burning balls of hydrogen. Trigby, World War II, fun fact for you. Uh, what were the atom bombs used? What, what atom were they using in the uh, in nuclear bombs back in World War II? It was hydrogen. Anyways, back to things that emit light. Basically, they're big burning balls of fire. And you can tell they're emitting light because they twinkle. All right, that's one way to tell. Things that reflect light, like the moon, do not twinkle. They're just bouncing light off of what else is out there. Things like the moon, other satellites, planets, stuff like that, simply reflect light. They don't create their own, okay? So that's lesson one, knowing the difference between things that emit light and things that reflect light in the night sky. You are now going to have a homework project where I am going to give you a Venn diagram one side is going to have things that emit light. One side is going to have things that reflect light. There are some things that do both. You're going to have to get creative and think of at least one thing that does both. Um, but on the emit light, you're going to have to throw a picture and label things that emit light. On the reflect side, you're going to have to put a picture and label things that reflect light. And hopefully you can think of something that overlaps the two. So grade six, it is now freezing and it's very early on a Sunday morning. And I got to get back to bed. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. See you later.